Turning now to local politics, it appears that most people running for office are violating Chattanooga sign ordinance. Oh, well, there's no doubt that you've seen the signs in all shapes and sizes and colors popping up like weeds along the roadsides. News Channel 9's John Pless hit the streets today with a tape measure and a copy of the city law to see who's obeying. John. Well, Kim, it's almost as if no one is paying much attention to the sign ordinance, even though candidates get a copy of it when they begin their campaigns. Politicians and the candidates who want their jobs spend a ton of money on campaign signs, and they spend a lot of time planting them on busy streets and intersections. Have you noticed all the political signs going up at the intersections? Oh, yes, yes, very much so. What do you think of them? Well, some of them are a little distracted. We try to give them, in every packet, a, a, a form that shows what they're supposed to do as far as political signs go. There is no excuse why politicians cannot follow the law because in that packet they get is one sheet of paper with some very simple and clear rules. Signs up to 36 inches high must be at least five feet from curbs and roadways. Signs bigger than 36 inches must be 10 feet away. They cannot be closer than 25 feet at intersections, no matter what the size. And no signs allowed on trees, poles, lampposts, structures, or sidewalks. Okay, guys, let's get to work and see who is in compliance. Most signs do not measure up to the law, even those for judges who are supposed to uphold the law. Oh, not even close. What about that? Most of them are not within the law. Is that surprising? Yeah, it's surprising because if you're running for, if you're running for somebody, you need to uh, follow, the, follow the law. Mm, no, looks like Mr. Mayfield needs to go back a couple more feet. If they are not following the law in their effort to get your vote, what makes you think they're going to follow the law once you vote them into office? That's the truth. They're not. They're going to get, not going to listen to you anyway. The candidates who did call me back this afternoon for comment gave various excuses for violations from volunteers and their campaign in a hurry to don't we, meaning us at News Channel 9, have anything better to report. Now, one candidate went so far as to say the signed ordinance violates his right to free speech.